There is no better day like today to be so intimate amongst friends and family members to revisit the reasons why we exist. We are from God, said Jesus. We are not from our own selves. And Jesus has not come for those who are already happy or think they are happy and satisfied. He came for those who are suffering, who are in need of a doctor. And blessed are those who suffer, he said, because they are closer to realizing why they exist. It doesn't matter if Caesar doesn't know about God. And Caesar may be a part of us, the judgmental part of us, as said Joanna de Angelis. And also, she was quoting the very passage that Jesus brought to us. When the woman who committed adultery was brought into the presence of Jesus, much like ourselves today, who like to judge others without knowing, they wanted to stone her. But Jesus, he looked down, started writing, while the accusers were cursing the woman, awaiting Jesus to take measure. How many of us are like that in our everyday lives? We may at least once a day be just like the accusers with people in our lives without knowing the reasons why. And when they observed, the master turned to them and said, well, if you don't have any sin, then please be my guest. If he were to speak English, he would probably say such words. Of course, he was speaking Aramaic. But he turned, and as a good therapist, he told everybody what to do. When we think somebody missed the mark, and it was just as if he was pulling a mirror on the face of everybody and say, look at yourself. You think you're so pretty and clean and pure. How many of them, says Brother X in the book Good News, Boa Nova. How many of them, he reports, were adulterers themselves? Because to spoil something, Kardec brings the gospel, saying the true meaning of adultery is in the thought. How many people accuse others for leaving a marriage, for thinking twice besides many things? And Kardec says, it's all in your thought. How many people dream of other people? And they say, no, no, I don't cheat on my wife and my husband. But Kardec says, you know what, cheating is here not here and we think we are so pure so at that very moment they left because they realized uh oh right uh, you know what uh, okay they left only jesus remained and a few disciples she was still laying on her knees she then turns to the master and says master what now he says, go, haven't they accused you? So, neither do I, go and live a good life, an upright life. Later, the disciples didn't like the approach. Then Peter and others approached Jesus and said, Master, come on, the law says, the Mosaic law, it says that the woman should have been stoned. Are you against the law? 
and then he gives us an immortal lesson something that only spirit has revealed because we didn't have time to publish everything in the Bible time. It took spiritism to come and bring more and more and more. And Brother X is allowed by higher forces to come and tell us that Jesus turned and said, how can we accuse her of something if we don't know what she faced when she was between the four walls of her house? It's very easy for us. And he says something quite unique. Before any woman who falls behind her, there is a man who pushes her to the abyss. And it's not only between men and women we're talking about this. We're talking about our lives. When we see a criminal, he or she is not alone <coughs> in that criminal deed. Spiritism comes and says, we're never alone. We're always surrounded by minds. And Kardec asked the spirits in the spirit's book, who are the spirits who are always around us? It's in the spirit's book, in that very chapter that talks about the intervention of spirits, the interference, the influence of spirits in our lives. As the educator, he says, okay, we got it. They come and influence us, but who are they? We need to know who is with us 24 7 like for example cell phone right sick the network of people there is a spiritual verizon <laughs> at&t whoever is best at this because we don't know to date but we do have a network who is in our network unforgettable lesson they say four categories of companions. 24 seven, we have the company of superior spirits, our guardian angels, wireless connection. That's the reason why when we elevate a little bit our vibration, we can log in into their email account and get the message and say, God, I was watching this beautiful movie and then suddenly this inspiration came to my mind. Why? Because I raised my vibration. And then they sent a message sometimes like years ago, we didn't open the message. The email was still there in the inbox. So that's why there is hope for all of us. It doesn't matter if we look at our children, at our companions, at our relatives in general, and we find out that they don't get it yet. They are receiving emails, vibratory emails. When they raise their vibration, they will open the inbox. And they may, quicker than we imagine, flip they actually change their lives and may achieve higher levels faster than us who thought we were so already there. So this is the first type of spirit that is always with us. There's no such thing, oh my God, I'm alone and no. We are always connected to God. God sends a, a spiritual babysitter. And they don't mind we say it this way. Because they prefer that we feel they are babysitters to us, then we don't accept their protection and the tutoring that they offer us. They're there. That's why St. Augustine says, do not worry about tiring us with your questions. Ask us. And not through psychics, he said directly heart to heart but the spirit say four other four total we need three other types so the higher spirits and then we have familiar spirits yeah we have familiar spirits with us well 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 maybe good maybe bad because they explain they can be superior to us or inferior to us 